Hi, if you'd like to know how to assess the pros and cons of different locations for your new restaurant or food business, stay tuned because we're going to take you through the step-by-step -step guide to restaurant location analysis so that you can choose the perfect location for your new business venture. Now, if you'd like tips and tricks on a weekly basis of how you can start your own cafe or food business or restaurant, make sure you hit the bell and press subscribe and every week you'll be notified when we drop a new video. Hi, I'm Rowena from Food Marketing. I'm based in Sydney, Australia, and I'm a food consultant who has worked with hundreds of food-based businesses over the years. We help businesses start a dream business or help them to grow sales in an existing business. So stay tuned and we're going to tell you all about the tips and tricks of choosing the right location for your new business venture. Okay, so before we take you through the steps to analyzing or assessing the pros and cons of different locations, what you really need to determine is what is the right location for your business. And the number one way to choose the perfect location is to know where your target market either resides or works. So you need to know who your target market is, you need to know where they're located, because to use a, a pun, you need to be located in a location where your target market exists so that you have a hungry market for your food business when you open those doors. So step number one is defining your target market. Now let's take it down to a really basic level. If you are developing a concept which is a family friendly, say for example, quick service or fast food, uh, food outlet or restaurant, casual diner, then you need to be located where the local population is full of families. There is absolutely no point in being located where the demographics of the local area are older and there's not a lot of local families. Because if there is one thing for sure, families are driven by convenience. So you need to be located right near where they live. Okay, once you have find your target market, that'll give you a really good idea of where the, those locations are that are perfect for your target market in your particular city or regional area. So then you need to start focusing on actual sites or locations in those areas. And what you need to determine is what elements in each location is really important for you to be ideally able to run your business most effectively. So what you're going to create, step number two, is creating a location wish list. Now what a location wish list is, is all of the elements of a site or location that are absolutely ideal for you. So best case scenario, you would like to choose a location that had as many of these attributes as possible write them down. For example, it might be outdoor space. It might be outdoor space uh, for seating that faces north or south, depending on where you are in the world. It might be air conditioning or heating. It might be a fitted out kitchen. It might be space to hold up to 50 seated diners. Think of all the attributes of those locations that you would ideally like to have to operate your business in and write them down and you now have created your location wish list continue what would be on your location wish list do you want space to create a drive-through concept would you like outdoor dining what elements um, or attributes of a location would be absolutely ideal for you pop them in the comments below and let's see what people are looking for for their locations Okay, step number three is actually really simple. All you're doing is creating your wish list and you are putting them in order. All of those attributes from most important to least important, rank them down the list. Now step number four is to look at your list and work out what are your non-negotiables. So let's use the example that you're going to be a lean startup and you don't have a lot of capital to invest in equipment. So one of your non-negotiable may be that you need to find a space that already has a fitted out commercial kitchen in some form. It might not have all the pieces of equipment that you need, but you basically need a functioning kitchen. And that might be the absolute top of your wish list. Now here's the thing, if you've already you rank them in order of importance then logic dictates that the top of your wish list will have your non-negotiables now they're going to be elements of the site that you absolutely need to have and there is no getting away away from it or around it no matter how cheap the rent is on a space you cannot operate there okay we have your location wish list but now that we have ordered those 
attributes in level of importance and we've also marked the non-negotiables what you really have created now is what we call a location assessment tool now what you can do is take this list create a simple spreadsheet makes it very easy and when you go around looking at potential sites mark them off as to the attributes that they contain and they don't. And then now what you are able to do is very quickly at a glance, you can look at the pros and cons of different locations and compare and contrast between the two. Now, if you're buying a premises or you're going to lease it, and say for example, the price or the lease cost is very simple, this tool will enable you to quite clearly see which location is better over the other. If you'd like to access our assessment tool, look at the in the comments below and uh, click on the downloadable tool. And what you can use is our assessment tool as even a starting basis for your own, because remember, every concept will be different. What is on your wish list, which ultimately becomes your assessment tool, will be different to everyone else depending on the actual food concept. But by all means, use ours as a great starting point. Yet, if you would like weekly tips and tricks when you're starting out, and creating your own new food concept, make sure you press subscribe and you'll be notified every time we drop a new video.